Hello and good morning. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. I got to tell you that this book is coming out at the right time. Now that Till is in movie theaters, people are going to want to come out and they're going to want to know more about different events and things like this. And this book is just the book to get into their hands so they can learn, understand, grow forward, forgive. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a perfect time. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. The idea of bringing and, these essays together. My goodness, what a brilliant idea. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it was just a moment in time when we were thinking it was, you know, things have gotten super confusing. People have stopped talking. Let's do a collection. And and, and don't you want to be the, the, this book in itself is a conversation starter. So, is, I mean, is that the tool that you envisioned inside your heart? Agreed. That is exactly the tool I envision inside my heart, that people could use this, figure out that they're not alone and having questions or concerns or problems or hopes and dreams and talk to one another about that. You bring up a really good point, you know, so they don't feel like they're alone, because when we do feel like we're alone, we don't talk. We go we become introverts. We go into our own little world and all of a sudden we hit social media and we get other parts of a story that aren't even true. Exactly. 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 And even if the part that you hear is true, there might be six or seven other parts around it that aren't true. And even if all of it's true, none of it ever seems to make it better. Yeah. I was interested in, in the story about Jake from State Farm. I mean, because we all think, you know, he, mm. he's, he's like, you know, Captain Cool collected and everything. But there's a story behind him. Yeah. like It's funny because Anscape, um, formerly the Undefeated, is looking to tell stories, especially through the lens of this book, is looking to tell stories that don't present as, you know, stories that you're used to seeing. And everybody thought as Jake, the State Farm guy, as a certain kind of archetype. Mm -hmm. Well, in the black community, he's a different kind of archetype. So it's kind of, it, it was a great story to explain what Anscape does. Right, which is put a different POV, a different spin on things. Now, don't you think that Anscape is is a, is a tool that everybody can use? Because, I mean, I, I do a defrag journal where it's like, okay, we're going to get several different points of inner core uh, views and break things down. Anscape, to me, with, with the way that you talk about it and the way that it's explained in the book, it's like, you know, we, we can all break things down and understand them better. Absolutely. And with understanding comes not just communication and, of course, it, it, you know, but it, progress. Mm -hmm. That is what I really believe. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a book for absolutely every, well, I'm not going to say everybody. If you are not interested in going deeper or as the kids say, doing the work, this is not a book for you. Mm -hmm. But if you are, and I mean this for all colors, races, creeds, et cetera, then I think this is, book is invaluable. You set your goals for this one. You embrace the journey. What did you personally learn from it? Because, I mean, as a writer, I mean, yes, it's falling from your fingertips and your imagination, but you still, you're still a student. What I've learned that things are neither as horrible as we think they are or as wonderful as they think, as we think that they are, and that they're infinitely more complex. And in the complexity is where we'll find the solution. That's what I learned. And it's, you know, it's, 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 but avoidance is not something, you know, it's just more information. This is more information. Um, and as well as you think you know something, as well as you think that you can um, identify by your race or your, your, your gender or um, your sexual orientation, there is always more to learn. And, and don't you think about that, being compassionate? Yeah. Yeah. And, and the and the learning places doesn't mean that, well, oh, hey, we're, we're all going to go hang out at the movie theater or, hey, we're going to go to a concert. I, I, I still, you know, over the past couple of years, because of COVID, I, I took an essential job at a grocery store. What a great place to learn and be with everybody, every age, everything. I and, can imagine. And, and when you, I can and, imagine. And, yeah. the, and the stories, the families bring in stuff like that. And you get a whole complete different point of direction of who people are. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, you do. And I, I mean, I, we feel that, especially when we get comments and engagement through social media, is that, you know, it's not all, no pun intended, black and white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of gray. And for every, you know, for every majority, 
which could be 60 percent, could be 52, that believe one thing. There are other people who very passionately believe something else, and their opinions have to be respected and presented and thrown out there for the discussion because without it, you're not having a complete conversation. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the you know? Thing, one of the things that I've been seeing and and uh, over the past couple of years is that Afri- African American men with their children at a grocery store. I just think that is the most incredible, love filled. I'm showing you the world, kids. Um, let's go out here and let's be yeah. with people. I love it. And 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 so that stigma where the guys aren't there has got to go away because the, the guys are trying. They're trying and they're showcasing their true yeah. love. Yes, and it's interesting, too, you know, the, the younger generation is doing the whole love, marriage, baby carriage thing completely differently, Every, you know, to each his own. God bless them. I am so pleased for them. But the interesting thing about that is with that kind of acceptance, people feel free to be, you know, you may not be dad of the year when you compare it to, I don't know, you know, right. some show from the 50s, 60s, 70s, but you're doing a great job for your child in your child's life in the life that you have you bring, right and there's understanding and some passion there you bring up a very interesting point only because my wife and i we we've got this this hd antenna that picks up all these old tv shows from the 40s 50s and 60s Raina, i'm offended by a lot of stuff that's on there i i that they i don't know what they were thinking with those shows because it would not happen today it would not but i mean also again I have to say to be to use to be my best possible self and be as compassionate about the situation as possible. I'm not going to say it was a different time because when it comes to treating humans like humans, it's, that's not what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. But what it was was a time when there was literally no way and more importantly, no desire to communicate or to make it better, right, or to do better or do the work. You know, there weren't any hard conversations to have. The world was fixed. Yeah. How, how important is awareness in the, in the lessons that are being taught inside this book? I, I, think, I think awareness, even if you are, you know, I don't think that this is one of those cases where the devil is in the details. Mm-hmm. I think the awareness is that at the bottom of it, we're just trying to be completely inclusive. Mm-hmm. Right. And your opinion has the same and your POV has the same value, has the same equality as any other. And with that awareness, then you can go deeper from there. But, yes, if the only thing you get from the book is the just general underpinning that we are all equal and that we should all have equal opportunities, then we're good. I'm great. You know? And from then you can get some of the more difficult questions, but the the majority of the work has been done. You you bring up a good point there in the way that you say the difficult questions, because that's one of the things in my notes here. It says this is about several different levels of questions. And, and, and I, you know, because I interview and stuff like that, of course, I believe in trust questions, but we've got to get others to do the same thing. No, don't go into it in an, as an interview, go into it as a conversation, go into it as that you, you've got compassion and empathy. And then there's, you know, there's all kinds of emotions that you're pushing through. Yeah. And humans just are not great at the complicated emotions, right? Say you might get slightly defensive or you might get embarrassed or you might get scared. Um, those are when you have to really remember what you're being aware of and sort of push through what can be negative reactions that are emotion-based. You know, I mean, I think that a big thing and we talk about it in the book is, Different people seeing the same situation in wildly different ways. Yeah. yeah. And that doesn't make one person right and the other person wrong. It just means that they have two different kinds of life experiences and we're being inclusive and take both is what I would say. Wow. Now, with, with all these essays coming together, you, there's got to be a second book that's going to be coming as well because, you, the, I mean, there's, there's going to be other points of direction, other points of view and things like that. So are, is that in the, in the works where you'll, you'll continue this book? Absolutely. Um, oh, my God. Yes, that is. We completely want to make that a series. Yes, Black mm-hmm. told a series. And write about, you know, the world is changing quickly. Mm-hmm. Things, you know, that were immutable are, 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 are not. And so we want to keep up. You know, we've been doing this a long time, and let's just say that this is our opinion on the first or the last six years, and we'll do new books on what's coming next. 
Yeah, because I would love to read a book about about this this new age of uh, of local African American uh, leaders and owners of businesses because that, that that that's a teaching tool right there for for the community that look at what look at what is happening here and we can all grow together. Yes, and the drive to create yes uh, equity and generational wealth and financial literacy. It's very it's very 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 inspiring. Oh, what a I, this! I'm so Definitely proud of you on this. At the local and community level. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. Is is there going to be a, a, not, a not necessarily a podcast, but a website where people can go? Because you know how we are. We want information. We've got to have the content. We want. We want. Here's to be able what to... I suggest. Mm-hmm. No, if you loved Black Told, and I and I, I think you really will. People, people who read, I think they really will. I suggest you go to our daily website, which is Anscape.com. And we do this every single day. I love it. You know, and the essays that you read in the book started, in most cases, uh, at Anscape.com. <laughs> so that's where we that's where we write these things in real time, have these conversations in real time. Oh, you're an activator. I love that. I love that. It's not just words to you. You're an <laughs> activator. <laughs> no, of course, of course. And you know, and and for that very reason. Because we also think that 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 art is quote end quote the lie that tells the truth so beautifully. We're expanding into movies and albums, and you're going to see Anscape everywhere. And this sort of what I like to call enlightened consideration. I love it. Please come back to the show any time in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Oh, I would love that. I would absolutely love that. Excellent, excellent. Will you be brilliant today? Okay. Thank you. You too.